into the hands of creative people who can make great things with them. Perhaps Ava is making us something now. She's at ReCraft on Lawrence Road. A lot of holiday craft opportunities and then what's cooking this hour? Yes, holiday crafts are a great way, Grant said, to kind of distract your guests from being too hungry if they haven't eaten over the day. But we first need to talk about your apron, Grant. This looks phenomenal. Let me get a 360, a little 180 action. Oh my goodness, back from Spain, fashionable as ever. Thank Thanksgiving you. crafts is on top of mind. What should we be prepared for for this season? Well, um, you know, Thanksgiving is all about family yes. and people being together. Mm -hmm. It's also a very busy, a very hectic time, right? The, the chef is over in the kitchen. <laughs> yes. They're working as hard as they can. They're like, get out of my kitchen. <laughs> yes. Right? So you need something to distract Amen. everyone else. They want mm -hmm. to help. Give them an activity. Guide them yes. into something productive, but away. Heard from the, the useless kitchen. cattle before they just consume things. Absolutely. And I mean, you make it an artsy little way. So what do we got here? A well, little little table of poss possibilities. You can do something so so simple. Yeah. Everyone is creative. Everyone likes to draw and paint. I've got some paint brushes here nice. for you. Um, we just got some watercolors over from our art and craft section, yeah. a coloring book, adult coloring books if you oh like. Oh my gosh. I love these. These are called Stabilo markers and these are great to draw with or you can oh. color. Ooh. Okay, so honestly you could just set up like a table say in the garage. Absolutely. Right? Say hey Away kids of all kitchen. ages, even if you're like <laughs> of the age to help but maybe you're not very uh, you know, talented in the kitchen. This would be a really fun thing to go do. Absolutely. And you could, even if you wanted to, make this into kind of a collaborative family craft. But the real purpose here, beyond the creativity, is getting people forgetting about oh. how hungry they are. Which would be hard to do for me, but I haven't thought about food the last 30 seconds. That's actually pretty rare for me. That's right. When people <laughs> get creative, they kind of get into this yeah. uh, flow state sometimes. Okay. You can just sit here in watercolor for the next 20 minutes if you'd like. Well, and you can come inside here and truly get distracted because there is so much to do. For those who don't know what ReCraft is, I mean, just the most incredible thing that you've brought here, you and your team. What what really is this place? This is, um, it's a secondhand shop. We give new chances to old love things. Hmm. A lot of creative people, they're into lots of different interests. Yeah. And uh, sometimes those interests change year to year, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so this is a place where they can bring maybe last year's or the previous year's favorite beloved crafts. Maybe they didn't use all of those googly eyes in the pack. Yes. Right? So true. Well, I think that's an incredible way to not just, you know, throw out maybe some like family keepsakes that maybe don't mean anything anymore because they can take on new life like you said here. That's right. Uh, we're a nonprofit. Everything, all the materials you'll find in our shop, which are usually about 50% of retail, wow. um, everything was donated by the community. Wow. And then volunteers sort it and put it back out on display, get it back out to the community. Mm -hmm. Which will touch on your heart for sustainability because that is a really the bigger picture of what they do here. So some more Thanksgiving crafts, but for now, check out my little AC uh, monogram here. Get on, get on tight to this. This is really the extent of my creative possibility. But Grant, um, your your sea anemone here, or what do we have? A nice coral reef. Oh well, to me it looks like a row of pine trees from this ah, direction. Ah yes. Right, but art is in the eye of the beholder. She get, he he understands the uh, the festive and fun. All right, so coloring books, lay out some watercolor. That's a great thing to do. More tips from Recraft here on Lawrence Road when we come back. Yeah, kind of nice when you think about keeping your family busy over the holidays too. It's not just about the crafting; it's about the time spent together. So plenty of options there. Thanks, Ava. Coming up.